Well, hello and welcome to another edition of What Are We Thinking? Fairly quick one today. Uh, this is going to be a repair. If you have seen our channel before, you might have seen that uh, over the winter, we had a little meltdown on one of our power inlets, uh, the one that goes to the air conditioning system. We weren't using it at the time, but it was live. I had not turned it off at the pedestal. Uh, that's a mistake that uh, I won't make again. Uh, but it looked like a bunch of water had gotten into the cord because the cord that I was using was my old cord, the old yellow style, the Marinco, but I had put on a smart plug adapter and I had smart plug uh, inlets on the boat. Well, the adapter and the inlet both melted down. Uh, wasn't that big of a deal because we weren't using it at the time. Um, but now we have made the transition from River City to 31st Street Harbor. And yesterday when we started our move, it was 84 degrees. And by the time we got here, it was 48 degrees. There was a huge wind change and it's coming off the lake. Uh, so I'm going to install our new inlet, smart plug inlet. And I purchased over uh, the winter after this happened, a uh, brand new smart plug cords, the full cords, not the adapters, hoping that they will not collect any water the way that the other adapters did. Now, one of the reasons that we think this happens is because when Carver built these boats, there's a little bit of an angle to these, um, to where the inlets plug in. So you can see here that there's this just, I don't know, eight degree angle or 15 degree angle or something like that. And I guess it's just, there's too much weight on the cords or something and they're allowing water to get in. So hopefully this will solve the issue having the new plugs. Uh, I'm also going to try, to try to probably build some sort of a cover for this over the summer uh, so that water couldn't possibly get in there. So uh, here we go, let me show you how I do this. I I've done this quite a few times already. Uh, for the first few years, we were we kept having problems with meltdowns on the other side, on the on the shore power side, because we had too much load coming through there. Um, we were running a heater or two off the boat. Now we don't plug any heaters into the boat. Thankfully, last night I still had one cord uh, that I had run for the winter um, in our bedroom, so we were able to plug that into a 50 amp on the pedestal here, and then we were able to get. A little bit of heat so it was pretty comfortable in the bedroom last night but it is now 61 degrees Fahrenheit in here and uh, it's the middle of the day and I'd like it a little bit warmer because I'm about to do some work inside uh, so I'm gonna get this fixed so that I can turn the reverse cycle air conditioner on and get a little bit of heat all right so I have the uh, smart plug just gonna replace this one here you can see I even put some tape around it thinking that would keep water out but it wasn't really water getting into here, it was water getting into here. Um, but as I said, these are the new ones and there's a much better seal right here. Yeah, that's pretty nasty looking. Uh, definitely some char. I mean, this metal is actually melted. So there are three prongs in here. One of those prongs is completely melted. And of course, doing this over water, <laughs> There's always the fear of things falling in. Um, so a couple of years ago, because I had replaced these a couple of times, I actually had someone come and free these wires up. This is as much wire as I have. And um, man, it's, it's not a whole lot, but uh, I'm gonna open this up and see what these wires look like on the inside. From here, they look great. So I should be able to reuse them. Thankfully, they include a little Allen, which fits in here. So it wasn't the connection between these wires that go into the boat and this inlet. What went wrong is the adapter from the old cord. So these wires actually look pretty clean. Um, I had cleaned them a couple of years ago when I put that on. So I think I'm gonna reuse them the way that they are. Uh, I would like to cut back. The thing is these, this wiring actually has a coating on it. And so I used like vinegar and a couple of other things to get that coating off so that there's really good connection. 
Um, I don't really want to do that again. I think I've got it pretty good here, so I'm going to put the new one in and hopefully it works out great. So if you're not familiar with the smart plugs, um, they have a much larger contact area. My one complaint, these little screws that hold in the wiring, you have to pull them pretty much all the way out in order to get the wire in there. But when you pull it out, then they fall out and that would be very easy to fall into the water. In fact, I've done that before, but because I had a spare, I was able to use those from the spare. So it's a little annoying. I wish these were just a tiny bit longer so that they wouldn't fall out. This is definitely something that could use a design improvement. See, that almost fell in the water, but <laughs> thankfully it did not. Nope. It's real fiddly, really annoying because I don't want to pull this out too far to make space for the wire to go in. Okay, three nice tight connections. Fits back in there beautifully. Now I'm gonna go see if I can find some better screws. Okay, so I have my handy dandy West Marine flathead tapping screw kit. And let's see if we have any that would fit in the holes. This one looks like it would perfectly. No, it's a little too small. It's just spinning around in there. Let's see. Try to get a couple of these big boys in here. That one is too big to fit. One more, baby. Come on, give me one more. Perfect, all four fit well, nice and tight, nice and solid. Ugh. Let's grab the cord. Let's see if we can stretch it on over here. Plug it in. Here's another thing, smart plug. You have a blue light on top of this, so I know that there's power to it. But watch when we plug it in. You now have this piece, so this holds the weight instead of the cord, but it blocks the blue light. So I have two blue lights on here, can't see either one of them. Tiny, teeny, tiny bit at night, but not during the day. Okay. Yay. I uh, should probably make sure that the seacock is open before I try to start this. And it is. So, on this switch, I actually still have the old knob style. I'll show you these I actually replaced out. I still have to trim them, but uh, replaced to make them um, more modern. They have remote control, but they don't work. They stopped working about a week after I had them installed. Um, but this one still works great. So let's try it out. A little bit of dust coming out of there since that hasn't been run in a few months. Compressor kicked on, that's good. So let's see, are we getting any heat? Doesn't feel warm yet, but we'll come back to it in about five minutes and see. Well, it has been a couple of hours and uh, we've gone up about eight degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it is much more comfortable in here. You will notice I'm not wearing a hat anymore and I'm not wearing a jacket anymore. So it's working, uh, which is great. So we'll be able to stay warm at least until this weekend when it's supposed to be 80 degrees again. Um, and uh, yeah, not a huge project, but something that needed to get done 
uh, in order for us to be comfortable. Of course, we'll use this same system for the air conditioning all summer too. So uh, glad I got it done. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and you can hit that bell notification icon to be notified when we post new videos. Thanks very much.